The Medical Marijuana Commission unanimously approves a rule tonight that would allow it to hire a consultant to score the state's dispensary applications. Now, under the law, the commission can award 32 licenses across eight zones. KARK 4's Jesse Denor joins us now with what's next, Jesse? Yeah, Ashley, lawmakers will actually consider the rule change next week. Representative Doug House, who authored the medical marijuana legislation, believes his colleagues will approve it. But some commissioners are still on the fence if they want someone else to do the scoring. Provided to you is a copy. The five members of the Arkansas Medical Marijuana Commission hashed out the pros and cons of hiring a consultant to score the state's 203 dispensary applications. It feels to me like we should be the ones to make that decision. I'm not a big rubber stamp person. And so, you well, know, I'm not a rubber stamp person either, but we're looking at a time frame of four months. Well, for two of y'all rotate yes. off. Time is of the essence. Two commissioners' terms expire in November, which marks two years since voters passed the medical marijuana amendment. A man in the crowd yelled, What did you call me? But the commissioners unanimously approved a rule that would allow them to send the applications to a third party. They agreed there should be five scores from different backgrounds just like them. Because if it was just one of us scoring these things and all these, you know, fantastical lawsuits that we have been, you know, th then there might be some validity to that, right? But the fact is, n none of us here determined who got a license. It, it was a group thing. If lawmakers approve the rule change, the commission says best case scenario, it could award dispensary licenses right before Thanksgiving. We would get done if we started now grading the 203 applications. We'd get done at the same time, and then we would have done it, you know. It, so I don't know that we're saving any time here. The commission wasted no time formally awarding the cultivation licenses earlier this week, as soon as an injunction blocking the process was lifted. The top five scores announced back in February are in the medical marijuana business, while those out have sent about a dozen protest letters to ABC. You cannot be less biased than this commission has been. We have never, we can't even talk to each other during the review. And some of those out of the business could eventually be in. The commission also voted to keep the current dispensary and cultivation applications active for two years in case licenses are surrendered, revoked, or the state even decides to open more than 32 dispensaries and five cultivation facilities. Back to you.